Hi everyone, welcome back to Ria's collection and today we will be making enna manga. It's a very traditional way of preserving green mangoes for many years to come. So let's see how it's made. For this, you will need some green mangoes. Even if it's slightly ripe, that's okay. Just slice them into smaller chunks which are fairly thick. And if you have the time, let it air dry for a few hours. The mangoes that I recently got from the store here were not that big. As you can see, it just fits inside the palm of my hand. So I've used six mangoes of that size. Now you need to heat up some sesame oil till it's smoking and then add the mango pieces directly into it so that you can fry them on high heat. Keep stirring every now and then and fry till it is kind of goldenish brown on the outside. It won't get very crisp like potatoes because it's quite fleshy, but you will definitely notice a change in color. And don't fry beyond that because you don't want it to lose the entire texture and for the mangoes to be completely cooked. Just looking for the color here. You will also need some Kashmiri chili powder, regular chili powder, salt, some asafoetida and fenugreek powder. So into another pan, on very low heat, add all these spices along with salt and stir and cook till it is dry roasted. So do this on a very low heat so that the spices don't burn. And this can take approximately 45 seconds to a minute. And once that is all done, you will get the aroma of the spices that you've just used here. So once it's all done, you can add in the mangoes, uh, the mangoes that you've previously fried and kept aside. Just add them straight into the pan and toss them really well. And do this on a low heat, just so that the powders don't burn. There are no, there's no liquid here, right? So you don't want the powders to burn at all. So as you can see, just toss it up really, really well. Take your time to do this. And now it's the time to pour the oil that you've used for frying the mango pieces. So take about half a cup of that oil that was used and pour it over the mango and the dry spices and mix it well so that the entire mixture that is the green mangoes um, the spices the salt and the oil everything gets to mingle with each other and you're doing this on very low heat you're not trying to cook the mangoes or anything here it's already done its part so you just want the pieces to be tossed in the oil and the spices so that everything gets coated onto the pieces completely just like how you can see right now and be gentle uh, while you stir this because the pieces are kind of soft at this stage so if you mix it up too harshly it's going to you know break up and get mushy this can take between four to five minutes on low heat just look at that i mean just look at that color it is a nice dark deep red in color and it tastes absolutely fantastic. Now I'm going to bottle it up. I would like to transfer the contents directly and right away into a bottle just so that it doesn't cook any further from the residual heat of the pan. So once you are done bottling it up, let it cool down completely. There shouldn't be any bit of warmth left in it and then you can cover and store it. And the manga is now ready. Enjoy!